Brooklyn, traveling distance to party Brooklyn, absolute functions, not hardly Brooklyn, the name alone holds godly You don't know, you better ask somebody Blackfield Street since 85 The beast getting paid to not bust Hooker's jaws got crust Guys, what is up? Maximilian from Maximilian Must Know here. Uh, got another Scent Safari video, and that's basically Scent Safari videos are where I send an email to a house, usually indie or niche. Um, you know, I don't want to do them with brands that are so well known in the community. I won't be doing this with Creed or Zerzhov. It's really brands that uh, I think flow a little bit under the radar, especially in the indie world and some of the less explored niche houses so um i got a bunch of these lined up uh we've done a few so far and today we're going to go to a new york indie house called house of cherry bomb and this house popped up on my radar when carlos uh brooklyn fragrance lover sent me some stuff from his plp project he sent me one called pink haze so i reached out to house of cherry bomb they very graciously sent me five samples and we're gonna try four today for the first time on my skin. I picked four of the five. I'll let you know uh, what I think. Before we do that, let me give you a little bit of background on the house. Basically, this is a Brooklyn project between two women, Maria McElroy, uh, who has Aroma M perfumes, and Alexis Carl of Scent by Alexis. I think it's really cool that they collaborated and, uh, and started this house. I think the name uh, is really cool, House of Cherry Bomb. And so let's go through four of their creations. Now, the first one we're gonna start with uh, is called Cardamom Rose. And Cardamom Rose came out in 2013. I have it on my skin now. Notes are Cardamom, Moroccan Rose, and the Roly Tangerine and Spices. You can get this $75 off their Etsy shop. I believe all of the fragrances are in 30 ml sizes. Now with this one, I wanna say that I'm not a big fan of Rose. So maybe not a great one for me to look at. I do like Cardamom in the right dose. Don't love Rose fragrances. Um, this one, the rose really dominates this fragrance. It reminds me of a scent called Anarchiste by Caron. Um, it's really, this is definitely for ro ro rose lovers, but the rose is really, really accentuated by the cardamom, and it really is a cardamom uh, and rose scent. Um, you know, you definitely get that tangerine. It's got citrus at the top, uh, and then it, it dries down to this really spicy, cardamom almost jammy rose fragrance i don't think i personally wear this one but i could see people who enjoy rose really liking this one it's an assertive darker rose scent that isn't relying on oud for the heft so i'd say it's not my thing but i think it's a it's a well done fragrance the next one we're going to take a look at uh is called violet green tea honeysuckle and this one is 55 dollars uh, on their Etsy store and has notes of green tea, violet, honeysuckle, lily of the valley, and woods. Now this one I think is really, really well done. It's far too feminine for me uh, to wear, but I love the combination and the, of the honeysuckle and the lily of the valley with that green tea. Really fresh, really light and uplifting. Great summer scent. Reminds me a little bit of their uh, by uh, Bulgari, which is a green tea scent. I'd say this one's more floral. This one, I feel like the green tea is is, is in the background, uh, and it's really that honeysuckle and lily of the valley. So I think for uh, women or guys who love florals um, with a little bit of a twist, this would be a great scent for them. It's another one I, I probably wouldn't wear. The next one is called Tobacco Cognac. This one had me interested. This is $75 and has notes of tobacco, cognac, ambergris, musk, and honey. This one is so nice. Uh, I get a really nice combination of dry tobacco with just a hint of booziness and honey. Uh, this is really well done. I think at $75, this is a steal at the price point. Definitely, to me, the tobacco is way more there than the cognac or anything else, but uh, it's sort of a dry tobacco at the start. It sweetens up a little bit with the honey. Uh, I think this is a great work scent. I could see guys wearing this one to work. This one is a, a good fragrance. The one we're gonna finish on is the one that I think I was most excited about. And that one's called Coffee, Amber, and Vanilla. This one is $55 and has notes of vanilla, oud, amber, chestnut, and coffee. Uh, this to me, guys, 
is where House of Cherry Bomb did their best work. This one is 100% fantastic. I would call it a gourmand. Uh, and, and what this is to my nose is like someone took a spiced holiday cake and just drowned it in coffee and, and booze. It's a stunning fragrance. I think that if the right people in the community were to get their nose on this, it would be a, a real, real uh, hit. There'd be a hype train for it. Um, it. It's beautiful. It's sweet. There's depth. It's spicy. Uh, it smells spiced. I really, really like it. This and uh, tobacco, cognac are, are excellent fragrances, and I could see owning bottles of both. So. I'm really impressed with this house. I love the range of scents that they have. Uh, there's there's real talent to be able to make something as clean and sort of airy as the honeysuckle green tea and then go to this gourmand dark booziness of the coffee amber fragrance. Really impressive, guys. So I'm going to link to their Etsy shop in the description and their website. Check them out. Uh, let me know if you've heard of this house before, if you've tried anything by them, if you're going to get anything uh, from them. I'd love to know your experiences. I want to thank House of Cherry Bomb for sending me the samples, and we'll be back next week with more videos. Guys, my name is Maximilian. And I'm and businessmen Peace. shoot dice on the corner. Excuse me while I light my split, but some choose to sip, so bullets hit brains when bottles hit lips. Clips, whatever happened to 38 specials. Now